Yeah, snow and rain, that's cool. Uh, what a crappy day. Uh, I got to the barn today and it was muddy and snowing, but um, Amy uh, Crantini uh, was pouring rain Saturday. We trained him Friday. He didn't go out Saturday, obviously, he got Sunday off. He couldn't have three days off. The walker was kind of muddy, as you can imagine, uh, today. And it was either swim him or jog him. And um, I know Amy wanted me to jog him, so I did. I jogged the horse. I begrudgingly jogged him. Now, it didn't rain or snow that bad when I was out there. It was muddy. It's not the end of the world. Um, he jogged great. Actually, considering he was off two days, probably way, way above my expectation what Crantini would be. I was hoping he was going to be containable today. You know, I thought he'd be bouncing and being an idiot and throwing himself and rooting his head. He didn't. He was good. Really, really good today. Uh, as he said, way, way above what I thought I was in for when we uh, when we headed out onto the track. I got to see a number of the other horses um, jog today, talk to all the riders. James was there, and we all helped uh, Cindy get finished up. Now, for those of you, it wasn't well documented, but about three weeks ago, uh, Cindy Acton, who works for us, was uh, training at Mohawk with a number of the horses. I think Landing Pad jumped off the trailer and kind of bulldogged her. And she twisted her knee, hurt her knee. And um, she was out for a week or two. Well, it might have been more than three weeks ago. She was out for a week or two, and it's sore. I had my knees operated on three times when I was a kid. Just bad knees, and they've never really hurt me that bad in the last 10 years or so, but every so often they'd lock up and hurt. Um, and I know what it's like to have a knee that is swollen, and many of you do also, playing in sports or just getting injured around the house or doing anything. You know how frustrating it can be. It's mildly painful. That's a spectrum all on its own. It can be really painful or mildly painful, but the mobility is minimal all the time. It seems like no matter how your knee is, if it's injured, it's a pain in the butt. So Cindy, we, you know, I went around the barn, I asked and everybody was done jogging. Cindy still had three to jog. So we all chipped in, got our horses ready, helped her with her stalls, got the horses out on the track for her. So everybody was done jogging. Well, it's 1130 right now and I'm well done. So everybody was done jogging at 1045. So, uh, um, you know, a great a lot of help, and I appreciate the fact that everybody chipped in. I went over to help. I didn't ask anybody else other than to jog, and, you know, Teresa was doing a stall. Amy was doing a stall. I was getting the horses ready, and it was just nice to see everybody chip in and help. And not shocking, because that's the nature of the people that work for us, but it was nice uh, to see everybody helping out. So we get done early. Uh, James and I and Curtis, one of our, our clients that has another job, wanted to meet with us and, and uh, talk to us about some stuff. Um, racing related, I think more of just a sounding board, bounce some stuff off of us that they were looking at doing. So a bit of a meeting. So my brothers and I are going to go have a, a little luncheon, um, a little luncheon with some people. It should be a lot of fun. Food will be good. <laughs> so uh, there was that. Now a couple little updates. Uh, Cash Deals obviously raced poorly last night. Did she tie up? Did she bleed? Did she? Uh, I would love to answer the bleeding question, but shockingly. They did not have a veterinarian uh, with a scope at Flamborough last night. This track just can't do anything right. Uh, and I don't even know if it's a track's fault. Either way, it didn't get done. So, couldn't scope her. It wasn't possible. So, we, uh, so we're going to have to wait. No point. Can't even scope her today. Uh, Dr. Bosen Jack has gone away. Dr. Grosenbacher doesn't work on Monday other than emergencies. So, no real vet to scope the horse. And scoping the day after isn't, you know the best anyway so uh, we drew the blood we're waiting for the blood work to come back we'll get to the bottom of what happened with cash deals last night but it's not the end of the world either way obviously she raced good she bled a little bit the day she won we put her on Lasex and she got a little injured schooled good but did she tie up along the way somewhere with that bad weather it's very possible so we'll get to the bottom of cash deals there was no lameness issues I saw her legs and everything today she was fine so there was something going on and we will get to the bottom of it the other piece of information for today's sister salon is going to be scratched Megan was on the fence the last two days about racing the filly or scratching the filly didn't really know what to do she said she's eating good but she just doesn't feel sharp and I said, well, I don't want another bad race. So if you don't think she's close, near, or around 100%, then just scratch for today. It's not like she's racing in the Breeders' Crown. And she messaged me at 6, not even 6, I think 5.30 this morning. 
I mean, you know, she's the type of person I know, the type of person she is. She was probably up all night worrying about it and thinking about it and then finally came to the conclusion that she probably already knew yesterday when we talked about it. Probably shouldn't race. So Sister Sloan's not off to the start we wanted, but doubling down on bad performances is not a way to get out of that tailspin. So um, she'll be scratched today. We will make sure that her blood is good and everything is good the next time she goes. So uh, a frustrating race last night from her. Per lucky was good. You'd see him running in on the last turn. He just got jumped on in a bad spot. If he had left him alone to the head of lane, it looked like we would have been fine. But that didn't happen. So he was an, an okay third. A uh, hard fought third. Thought he raced well. But that's not right there is where you get him. You want to be per lucky? That's how you do it. So probably, again, we've talked about moving this guy to a bigger track. I don't really think the immediate future is one. I'm not in a big hurry to get him over to the Meadows or anything like that. Jason has him dialed in and good. He's not an open trotter. He'll do good in that class and even the class above. But um, uh, I think when Oak Grove opens up and we get a look at it, then that's a possibility for him. But I'm not in a big hurry to get him anywhere. I think we're I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this guy straight through. And as we get through the summer into the fall, I think it's probably wise to look at Hawthorne again for him if we still have him. So I'm not worried about Perlucky. Yes, uh, I thought he could have won last night. But you could see why he got beat and how he got beat. It was pretty obvious to anybody just running in on the last turn. If Ronnie had waited, like if somebody had been parked the whole way and outside of Perlucky, we had to got to the head of lane, I don't think they beat him. But... When he's running in and out of gear and slowing down a little bit and you jump on him, that's where you're going to get him. So I thought he raced good. I thought Castile's obviously raced poorly. We're going to get to the bottom of why. Uh, Sister Solange will be scratched today. We're going to get to the bottom of what's going on with her and try and get her. She's the type of failure where she needs to be at 100% and then she's good. Anything below that, and it's kind of kind of shit city. So um, we'll, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll get her squared away properly and back into go soon. Um, and for everybody else, we still have the one horse racing today. Uh, of course, I would have to mention the one horse racing today, and I can't think of who it is. It's not Sister Solange, obviously. Um, I don't think it's Mike Jason's. It's not Deco. I don't think it was Blue Tap. Oh, must be one of the... Oh, World for Two, I think, is the horse racing today. I believe. Not positive, but I believe. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm going to pick up my brothers now, head into Milton and get a bite to eat. Uh, i got a few little errands to run today, and then tomorrow I'll get in close to talking James into going tomorrow. He's still on the fence, but hopefully we can talk him into it. So with that, I'm going to let you go. I hope you guys have a great week. If you're in Ontario, it's not a great day. But the sun's supposed to come out tomorrow. Take care.